alam, na-lockdown akong kapital ko, wala na, yung sunglass ko, pati yung mga paninda ko, yung mga anak ko. Siya si Ali, gabaligya og sunglasses o CD pamagi sa pagsuroy-suroy. Naa siya ay tulo kagagmay bata, ang ilang panginabuhian na apiktuhan yun tungod sa naitabo karon. Si Ali ang isa sa hinungdan nga nung mungmung na mi o zero hunger alabil. Gusto nato nga walay maguto mga pamilya diri sa alabil. Busa agad tukto kami sa inyong mga kasing-kasing nga magtinabangay kita araw makahagagtabang sa ato mga kaig Sama sa iyang kiingon, sige lang sa awa ng Diyos baka may grasya na dumating. Tanggapin natin maliit man o malaki. This place di ay is Alabel, Sarangani, Province. Sa inyong gagmay nga donasyon, naghantang pario sa pamilya ni Ali ang atong mapakaon kag mabuligan. If you want something to help, please contact sa sergeant. Um, na-lockdown akong kapital ko, wala na, yung sunglass ko, pati yung mga paninda ko, yung mga anak ko, nabit-presyo na ako kasi, kasi ako na lahat na nagdadala ng para mabuhi ako mga anak, ngayon, wala na akong magawa dahil sa lockdown man, lahat ng kung Mindanao, may problem ng bugas, pag maurot, sana kukukuha, wala akong magawa, kawawa na yung mga bata. O sige lang ay sa awa ng Diyos, baka mayroon pa mga grasya na ibibigay ng Panginoon, di tanggapin natin, may maliit man o malaki, okay na. This is for style, title Mahirap Pag Mahirap, Medium Oil Pastel and Canvas, size 24 by 18 inches artist, John Mark Quezon Polistico, price 750. If kinsa ganahan guys, um, just contact this person. Thank you. Ang tabang anima ato sa tao. On the prevailing scare brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, it seems that more than the fear of having a virus is the worry of Filipino people to lose their walks of life at once following community quarantine protocols and major lockdown by the government. Primary source of income of most citizens have shut down on a blank on the vision to stop the spread of the disease which claimed 35 lives in the Philippines alone. Indeed, this mixture are vital for everybody's health and welfare, but we can't deny the fact that it is a challenge especially for marginalized families to sustain life until such time that everything goes back to normal. Eight construction workers extended their endurance as they attempted a 2-1-1 kilometer walk from Manila just to get to their families in Pangasinan. A taxi driver by the name Ronaldo Alcala, who usually gave their expenses to his family from his job, cried in the streets as he never knew where he can get his sleep now. Frontliners who render essential services may not know if their lives are at stake due to unsafe environment. Outside, they keep on doing this not just to fulfill their calls of duty, but also to get paid to answer the needs of their own. Families to all of these rep rep representations of Filipino sufferings clearly defect how uncertain life would be here in the Philippines in difficult times like this. Quenning the praise Mahira Pag Mahira. Although it seems that the skies are dark for Filipinos to hope that we can get through this global crisis still fulfills. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.